You know, in this world, there's no telling who you're going to meet or how things are going to turn out. Some things are better left unsaid. Because the way some people behave is just downright criminal. Well, hey, how could I miss this, right? It's too good to miss. What's next on the agenda? Oh. Hey, got any spare change, brother? Uh, no, but when we're done with this bottle, you can have that. Cash it in. Uh, a little bit there, man. <laughs> no, man, go get your own bottle. Go over that garbage can. Cole Lambert sends his regards, mother How did Danny Boy get there? And what's the game? First, you've got to meet the players. This is me, Cole Lambert, food service kingpin by day. Big cheese of the L.A. mob, 24-7. Meet my rival, Gino Del Porto, Las Vegas restaurateur and capo di tutti of the Vegas Familia. And this guy is the wild card. Alexei Kushkov, czar of the Russian gang in Beverly Hills. OK, <laughs> let's play. Welcome to Los Angeles, gangster capital of the Western world. And I can prove it. All right, so this is what happened, as best as I remember it. This is based on actual events, so the names and identities have all been changed to protect the guilty, to protect the innocent, <laughs> or to protect me. This is our boy. Danny O'Neill. He's got a <laughs> wife, alimony payments up the wazoo, and a little girl. Take it down the floor now! On the floor! Oh, hey, it's me. Come on. You can't arrest me. I can't help. You can't take down this whole The druggie climbing out the window. Well, that's Terry's brother-in-law, Ivan. Small world, huh? Now, what the hell happened, Danny? You said this was your team, man. Yeah. The suspect pulled a weapon, T. What do you want me to do? I had no choice. Where'd your mark go? I chased him down the hall, man. He got away. All right. Remember what you saw. I'll take care of the rest. Go wait by the front door. I'll handle all this. Call it in. So how does a good cop like Danny, a good man, even know when he's starting to go bad? So much at risk, the home, the family, some kind of a future. Meet Danny and Terry's boss, Detective Sergeant Bachman. Not a nice guy. There's more guys out there than these small timers. And boss, I want to make a difference. I am going to get the big fish. Going to get the big fish. Terry, that sounds great in the service and all, but something else I want to talk to you about. Have a seat. I could use some coffee. I got some big leads here, sir. You're going to be very proud about these. What's going on with you and Danny? Get these These kid. There's a lot of drug inventory and money missing from the station. Can you explain to me why the ring you up right now? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Are you accusing me, Sarge? Well? Terry, what I think. No, 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 you listen to me. Of all the guys you got, I'm the most honest and dedicated of everybody. <laughs> You're hilarious, Terry. A real f comedian. Why would I trust a guy who marries a Russian mail order bride and supports her crackhead brother, huh? Do you know how hard I work? <laughs> what I put up with on the street? I come in here and you're gonna make wisecracks on my family? I understand your passion, T. But I am very concerned. And I don't make mistakes. There's cheese missing. 
and I'm gonna find the rat. Take a walk. I run my wholesale food business oh. from my offices in Beverly Hills. It's just a shell for my criminal empire. I know the cops think I'm dirty. They just don't know how I do it. Not yet. This joker here is Mark Bradford. Bradford, take off those fucking glasses. My number one salesman. And that's Danny O'Neill again, deep undercover in my organization. If I'd known he was a cop, he'd have been dead a long time ago. Sell, collect, collect on what you sell, right? Numbers are down 50% across the board. Listen, I'm not a fucking bank, all right? Nope, no business school for me. I'm kind of old-fashioned. Cole's not a bank. So repeat after me. Cole is not a fucking bank. Cole is not a fucking bank. I have two round-trip tickets for Hawaii. Kind of like a special bonus, like a surprise, a little contest. That goes to the highest volume rep, okay? Whoever that is. You got 30 days. See who wins. All right? What's my motto? Party like a rock star and sell like a motherfucker! <laughs> Terry? Where are you going? Come back here. Terry? Well, you know I would if I could. <sighs> Come on, just a little bit longer. It's never enough time. I'm just thinking how we used to be. Where we could stay together forever. We didn't know what time it was and we didn't care. I will never forget those days. So let's do it again. We will. We will real soon. I just wanted to remember what he promised me when I left it all over. He promised me love, freedom. I will never forget those days. So let's do it I'm again. Making that promise real. Terry, I just want to be a leader of a good war. But you're never here. What are you doing, following me? Just wanted to see you. <sighs> Bullshit. We both know that's not true. Ah, come on. What for, another lecture? Chaz, I heard you're working undercover on the Kuchko case. I don't need to mince words. That guy is a fucking scab, <laughs> baby face. Of course. So what, you don't trust me now? Trust? Trust has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with trust. You think you have to play overprotective daddy because you think I can't take care of myself. That's bullshit, Dad. These people don't fuck around. And neither do I. Ain't that a shame. Me and my crew would have been happy to help her out. I don't want you doing this. I'm serious. I mean, look at you. Four years at SC Law School, prom queen, and now you want to fuck with the Russian mob. Hello? It's my job, and I'm good at it. I don't think you get it. If you ever relax, if you even think you're safe. I do get it, Dad. I'm a cop. Now let me do my job and stop following me. You're in the way over your head, baby. Look, tensions between families are building. The competition is watering it all down. Some say it's getting sloppy. Time to shine, Sarge.
Come on in, sit down. And I can actually see myself in that little teeny tiny rear view mirror. I bet you can, boss. Of course. And Danny remembers what happened to the last bad salesman on the team. The whole thing. Oh! That's crazy, isn't it? Danny boy, did anybody ever tell you how to get ahead? No, but I guess you're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know, you're young and you're handsome, you're single. All you gotta do is find some nice young ladies, some pretty girls that I would like, that would like me. That's what makes the world go round. Yeah. What about your ex? You want me to calm down? Yeah. What about these? What about them? Take them and shove them up your ass. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> You're gonna have at her. <laughs> <laughs> that's manly of you. Hey, I'm just here to make some money. That's, 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 that's good. I tell you what, if you become the number fucking one sales rep around here by the end of the month, you can keep your job. If you're not doing any better than you're doing right now, you're fucking fired. All right, I'll do it 100%. I thought it was a good motivational talk. All right. So I sent Danny and Mark to Las Vegas to meet Gino Del Porto. First stop is Enforcer Billy. For some reason, everyone called him Tiny. Ladies. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. You're huge. Awesome. What the fuck are you eating, man? Hey, need to watch the words that come out your mouth. Might cost you your life. And don't never use God's name in vain. Now sit your butt down. So Tiny told them they had to wait their turn to see Gino. And their turn was in a day or two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this thing. Okay. I'll see you later. What the fuck was that? What the fuck do you want? We need to talk. Take a little what? What do you mean, what? Let's talk now. I'm busy. I can't. I don't have time. We're just going to talk about you fucking keeping your dick in your pants, huh? Selling don't drugs. be talking about dicks, OK? You You're the one your sucking job. Gino cock. Wow. Not the happiest couple. Huh? I got you the fuck off. Just go. No, let's just talk. Just You want to talk now? Huh? Yeah. You want to talk now? Let's talk now? Come on. Guys, guys. Hey, Jake. Customers here? Come on. I'm sorry. All right? Enough. Sorry. Where's customers? Hey, hey, easy. Okay? You want to talk? You want to talk now? Okay, go. Jake was Angela's temperamental Cuban ex-husband. Cocktail. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. You're gonna be here all night? Oh, Still to play in. Oh, look at big puppy. Bring it on. Good night. Oh, yeah. This is a man. He's more of a man than you'll oh, yeah. ever be. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off! Should have known better. Once a whore, always a whore. And that's all you'll ever be. Be your lucky night. It oh. is my lucky night, babe. <clears throat> now, the first time Danny saw Angela, you know, if you're gonna sit here, you need to buy a dance or a drink. He knew she was a real queen of hearts. Come on, I'll take you upstairs. Show you what it's really about. But that's when everything started to change. Watch your tail, cowboy. Sorry about that. He's a little uh, retarded sometimes. Yeah, your friend's a damn moron. Yeah. <laughs> Taurus, huh? Here for a business meeting. Ah, uh, I've heard that one before. <laughs> Like he's hard at work. Better get you working. How about a table dance? Mm, no thanks. I'm not really into the kind of girls that. No, oh, not. I'm sorry. All the good ones are either gay or married. Oh, you think I'm gay? No, no, no. I'm just saying I'm not totally into the strip club kind of girls. More of the uh, all-American types. No offense. <laughs> no offense taken. I don't dance. I serve drinks. Mm. You ready to drink? Sure, what can you dish out? Two shots of tequila coming up. Can you handle it, pretty boy? Perfect. <laughs> I'll be back. Meanwhile, back in LA.
Darn your bullshit, Ivan. I swear, that was the last job, and I'm out. It's always the last one, Ivan. Oh, come on, T. You can't just quit these people, you know that. You gotta slip out smooth and unnoticed. Smooth and unnoticed? I should just take you in right now. Terry, I swear on Katerina, on Mother Russia, on everything. I'm done. All right. You're gonna help me take down Alexei Kuchko, and then we're done. He brought me from Moscow. And you want me to stab him on his back? No, he brought you and Kat here to be his slaves. Now I'm giving you a last chance. Damn it! I put myself on the line for you, Ivan. I know. I got Alexei Kuchko out of your life, and this is how you repay me? Huh? You run back to him for some quick cash? You know what he's gonna do next? Huh? He's gonna locate Kat. What are you gonna do then? Shit. Okay, man. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Please. You're sorry? Okay. All right. You are gonna convince Alexei that you met the perfect ally. Somebody's fallen for his niece, and he knows everything. The bust, the competition, the routes. Get the fuck out, man. You're crazy. So Ivan was supposed to help Terry infiltrate Alexei's mob. And Alexei wouldn't suspect because Terry had married his niece. Believe me, brother. Alexei can't smell a lie from a thousand miles away. Well, then you better lie to him as well as you lie to me. If he catches you, Terry. He's gonna feed you your own balls. Now wife Peter Jake was in trouble. <sighs> the hell do you want, you slimy Dago? Those are kind words. Coming from a man who beats his wife. And that poor little boy. What a shame. Tell me why. Didn't I warn you? Hmm? No, Chino. No. I'm not guilty of anything for keeping that bitch in line, you know. So, apparently, Cuban mob code says it's okay to slap your wife around. Well, you... That's a different story, and you know that. Because the clock is ticking for you. You're running out of time. You're getting old, Chino. Wow. That's a good one. But not half as good as your pretty ex-wife. You know, Jake, I think about you every night when I see a picture on the nightstand. Too bad. Too bad you had to screw everything up. I gave you everything you have, but you're just a smack-talking little punk. All right, hear me out. You stay away from Angela. I'll let you go. Why? You just realize that you need me out there. It's all these people coming after you. All this information you don't know and I do. You need me out there, Gino, and you know it. Carlos. Meanwhile, back in Beverly Hills, Terry was about to play a dangerous game. Russian roulette. Cheers. With Alexei Kushkov. So, my sniveling rat of a nephew <clears throat> tells me I need you. I can own Los Angeles and Vegas with you. And he forgot my family has owned all these coasts for 60 years. Uh, Dago punks like Gino can exist only because I let them to take, <clears throat> to take the heat off. 
Well, today is your lucky day, because you met somebody who could contribute like no other. Like rat outside? Rat, that's like Big Mouse, yes? OK, we shut up. Nice. We need more. Don't, don't interrupt me. Uh, Do it again, and we'll cut your tongue out. Duh. Stupid mm. motherfucker. So, what do you think you can contribute? First, I'd like to tell you that I married in this family and I made a vow to protect it. Puto! De Catrino, no one. Acti! Give me your No one told him! Give it me! Give to take! I fucking love you. I die for you. This fucking scumbag. You want me to go? I go. I fucking go. Nah, I go. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, my stupid servant had a point. Why do you suddenly surface? Why did you hide this union from me? Well, I wanted to build something first. So when I came to you, I had something to show you. And I wanted to prove to you that I could handle my business. So what you have proved? What have you brought me? Well, I know of three planned busts. I know of a big shipment from Gino into L.A. And plus, I know all the rats. Let's go for a walk. But how do I know I am not next? on your list of victims. You're a rat. The rats show very little discretion. I would do anything for Katarina. Why would I hurt family? OK, bring this coward. Andre! All right. This man's family runs a small market in one of my territories. But he has forgotten. I own him. He shot at me. He thought I would never know. But he has forgotten Alexi has eyes everywhere. I'd like you to see this before we shake hands. <clears throat> Alexi, I needed the money. For family. Never again. Never happen again. No. Alexei, ne never, never happen again. again. You don't. No! <laughs> Apparently, the sledgehammer to the knees was a Russian mob tradition. Nobody ever walks away from the Russians. Now I ask you do you dare shake my hand? So finally, Danny and Mark got their chance to meet the king of clubs, Gino Del Porto. Uh, Billy tells me you want to make me an offer that I can't refuse. Have you ever thought how many people die each year eating junk food, fried food, sugar, red meat? Our company has designed a new menu for all your upscale accounts. What we'd like to call the end to obesity. All right, wait a second. Is this guy a fucking comedian or what? <laughs> Mind you. An all-natural menu. 
featuring certified organic foods. Slow down, kid. If I might suggest something here, huh? by all means. You see, Marco, you don't mind if I call you Marco. Do you? I just love that name. You know, I had a bird once when I was a kid. It was a parakeet. His name was Marco. I loved the name. He was a very smart bird. He could do a lot of tricks. And then one day, out of nowhere, he mysteriously dropped dead. <laughs> it's a true fucking story. The poor little guy was a yapper, <laughs> just like you. Oh. Dip, 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 dip. Just like my bird. <laughs> Marco, you want to work for me? Yeah. Nicolette was a hottie you know what you mean to me. from Eastern Europe on an expired student visa. She doesn't support you. You need a woman who gets you, who sees you for who you are. Now listen. Things are going good between us, okay? They are. You don't know how things are. They're really good right now. So don't you worry that pretty little head of yours, okay? All right, back to business. What do you got for me? We've been doing this fight for a long time. Look, man, I know you're clean. But when you're not playing the saint, you ever think about taking a little off the top? <laughs> Danny, what are you trying to say? That's what I'm talking about, a little temptation, a little, a little dipping in a little bit. Man, you gotta run where all that lettuce goes. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't all make it down to the station now, does it? All right, look, bottom line, we can't even think about it. Because the moment we cross that line, there is no turning back. Yeah, you're right. All right, Danny, 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 enough, all right? <laughs> Man, I'm trying to take you serious. All right, so enough of your joking around. Plus, I gotta get going. All right, but listen, I'm working on something hot here, so when I call you, make sure you pick up the phone. All right, just so you know, I promised my wife a special night, so unless it's something major, you save it for tomorrow. Take it easy, Chief. Pick up the phone when I call. You know, I let this guy go on a bust once. The only guy I ever let go. Why would you do that? Sometimes people need a break, you know? Somebody who cares. You let to drag Dilla go. It was more me knowing he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. But this guy, he begged me. And ever since, he's kept his promise, and he stayed clean. Well, you better not to make it a habit. Somebody could get hurt. It's a one-time special deal. Terry, I want to ask you something. Would you do me a favor? Yeah, yeah, of course. Would you look after my brother for me? Yes. Look, Ivan's gonna be fine, babe. Once I'm on it, it's as good as done. I love you so much. Hey, you know, it's like you're looking hot tonight, you know? When I was in the ring playing Apollo, if I saw a woman like you, I would have been distracted. You know, I would have been like, you know, I would have been completely out of my game. I would dress like that more often if someone said and would take me out more often. If this is what retirement looks like, I will put in my two weeks right now. Mm. And then have it up, because I want to spend that time with my handsome man. From the moment I met you, I knew you were two things. Extremely intelligent, and you had great taste. Come on, Terry, answer your phone. Yo. All right. Talk to me, brother. This better be damn good. Yeah, it's real good. I got an address for you. I need you to look into it right now. The chase is on, no, the race is on. Just make your shoes tight, get the bases on. If they get a head start, then the pace is on. So stop smiling and put your game face.
Danny's leads were good. The tips and the busts kept coming. Terry and his crew were taking down mid-level drug dealers and hauling in stash cash and trash. But the lure of all that loot was hard to ignore. Every time we turned around, one of our guys was getting pinched. It was like somebody was making it easier for the cops. What is it, blue velvet? This shit ain't worth 300 bucks. Hey, you blocks down and I. The fuck is a bloke? Fucking King Kiyocha. It's like I'm in there doing this with him. It's we're a team, except for I don't fucking get anything out of it. And then he treats me like I'm giving him a raw deal. Tell me why I do this in the first right. place. Fucking. Are you Mad Max? <laughs> Mad Max. Why not lay away? And then Close. things got out of hand. Possession of cocaine, four, assaulting an officer of the law, five, assault and battery on an innocent civilian. Guys, why, oh, why did you run? Here's the jury. Look. Men of your peers. What is he doing there? Prosecuting attorney. Gentlemen, please rise. The court is now in session. Honorable Justice Gino Del Porto presiding. Hello. You know the expression, honor among thieves. Well, with Gino's honor and his thieves, you'd have to wonder if the boys were going to get a fair trial. We're here today to determine the guilt or innocence of one Danny O'Neill and one Mark Bradford. They're charged with murder in the first degree of Georgia Stone, sexual contact with Miss Stone, possession of cocaine, Assault and battery on a police officer on an innocent bystander. On the first count, murder in the first degree, how do you plead? Poor Mark. Never knew when to dummy up. A guilty fucking retard. Keep him out, shut up! Shut up, Mark! Shut the fuck up! You fucking guilty, motherfucker. This is your last warning. You answer the questions without the drama, or you're gonna be in contempt of this court. Motherfucker. Mark! Mark! That's your fucking problem. Mark! Shit! You disobey the law. You're permitted here to present your defense, but only when this court orders it. Otherwise, do as you're told. 
It's fucked up, Gino. Listen, you guys disobey the law. You don't need Mark. There's a much bigger fish than him. I'm listening. Right, get rid of him. Take him out, Tommy. Take him out. I can bring him right to you. You're very smooth, kid. Very smooth, and you got the balls of a donkey, I might add. <laughs> yeah, the brains of a fucking donkey, too. If Gino thought Danny was smart so far, boy, were we all in for a big surprise. His name's Cole Lambert. Cole Lambert? He runs the West Coast operations, and he's been trying for two years now to move in on your operation. I know, Cole. Lambert. <laughs> He says he's dangerously close. And I want to put a bullet in the back of his head. How do I know I can trust you, Danny? I want to work for somebody who believes in team and trust. I've always been a team player. <laughs> he knows how to talk, doesn't he? <laughs> he's a good talker. Don't disappoint me, Danny. You have my word. I hate to hurt that pretty little face, yeah? <laughs> Baby, time has come. Terry, I want you to quit. You know, the only trophy you get to keep when your life's over is who you become and your memories. And mine's not going to be that of a quitter. Terry, I don't have a good opinion about this. Don't go, please. No, baby, I have to. It's going to be different once I get these guys. Who cares about these drugs? We're not affected by this. What do you mean we're not affected by this? Most crimes are because of this shit. Terry, quit. Find a better job from nine to five like everyone else. Really, what do you accomplish with this? They make money ruining people's lives, and I damn well not just stand by and watch. Now, I risk my life so you don't have to see the shit that I've seen. So don't you be questioning what I do, because you know what I do? I say fucking life. That's what I do. I can't live like this. I'm sorry. Well, what are you going to do? You going to leave? Then go get the fuck out. It wasn't easy for either one of them. And he was putting his life on the line. Hey, trust me. It's gonna be okay. I love you. Crime ring busted. 14 gangsters brought down in citywide sweep. More news as it develops. Hey, Tammy. Yeah, Terry? Hey, it looks like a promotion is in store for me. Really? <laughs> yeah. I put 14 of Cole Lambert's best men in the can. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. You know what? Even a little hater like you gotta give me some credit on that one. <laughs> hey, I gotta take this. 41st Precinct. I'm running a business with a lot of moving parts. And Terry's busts were starting to hit me in the pocketbook. So, I decided to change things up. Listen, I want to flood this city with product. You understand? I'm going to put this city on its knees. I don't care how hot it is outside. I want people eating and drinking and shitting product. If somebody gets in the way, just wipe them out! I need to see product in body bags moving right now. I understand. Okay. <clears throat> That's all I got. Just the two of them? Would I lie to you? You done good, Ivan. You better be clean. Oh, please test me now, bro. I'm fresh and clean. All right, man. This is it.
He's out there for the whole world to see. Yeah. Now you got a rest. Uh, I got it. This should be everything you need to take down Alexei Kuchko. Now remember what you promised me. I love you, kid. It's all there. Oh, all right, yeah. I gotta go. I called you here to let you know you're getting too close. And they're gonna kill you. Would you stop worrying? Oh, I got this whole thing under control. I gave you enough info to help bring them down. But I'm giving you a choice that you have to decide on. What do you mean? They didn't call Gino the king of clubs for nothing. He decided to bring his whole entourage to L.A. to check on his holdings. So Gino took Angela to Malibu and tried to pop the big question. How you doing? I miss being around you and Tommy. I know if I don't nurture this father-son thing with him, he might end up like me and my old man. Angela. We can make it work. I said before, Gino. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. I love you. I love you and Tommy more than life. When you left, I took everything in my heart. I squashed the one thing I never had. Remember the good times, huh? You, me, and Tommy, we were like a family. We've had a lot of good times, you know. Your lifestyle, drugs, the girls. I, I can't do it anymore. Look, that can all change. You can. Anything you want, Angela, anything, it's yours. You want me to walk away from all of it? I will. I'll, I'll give it all up. I just want you and Tommy to be happy. think about it. I just want what's best for him. So do I. Bachman decided to do a crime sweep, pulled in Alexi, and Terry had to play along. You morons have been trying to get me since I got here. You have nothing on me. Everybody, no matter who they are or where they're from, Pays for their sins, Alexi. It's just a matter of time now. Mm-hmm. These Russian fucks make my stomach turn. Funny how you keep a smile on your face when all your snitches are running their mouths. Yeah, boy. I like rats. <laughs> how does it feel knowing we are the same age and I have everything and you have nothing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you're gonna end up like this guy here. Yeah, you want it. But the funny thing is, I'm a nice guy. You're still an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Sarge. Like I said, if you had anything on me, I'd already be charged. Judgment Day comes for us all. Mm -hmm. I just have a nice to remind him how much we care. I hope you are recording that. This guy's dick is so limp from all the coke he snorts he couldn't fuck his right hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna let you go home. Get him out of here. Let's go, let's come back. Thanks, guys. It was great. Yeah, you haven't heard the last of us.
To our newest member, Hollywood's sweetheart, Danny O'Neill. Hey! Hey! Salute! Hey! Salute. Hey! hey. Uh, Mr. Insync, the real fucking Backstreet Boy. <laughs> hey, Ronald McDonald's house, go, they want their shirt back! Hey! Yeah, very funny. I should have a fucking Big Mac up your ass to see how funny it is. <laughs> Easy. I'm just right, trying Danny, to have fun over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Danny. Lighten up already. Relax. So tell me. Yeah. Danny. You ever been with a woman that's so hot? She makes your dick quiver even in church. Oh. <laughs> you know, Gino, you got a very eloquent way of putting things. Thank you. But I was brought up a Catholic boy. I was always taught to separate those two things, especially in church. <laughs> hey. Another great answer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, All right, relax. Relax, kid. Being as you came correct on everything, I'm surprised for you. Yeah. Close your eyes. Come on, do what he told you. Danny, close your eyes. Come on. Come on, do what he told you. Come on. Oh. Whoa. Do I detect a slight pulsation, gentlemen? Danny, every man deserves one night that he'll never forget. And this is your night. I want you to take Angela. Huh? I want you to take her. She's got to be back in 24 hours. <laughs> huh? What's my motto, kid? Truth, honor, and generosity. Yeah. And I got all three. You got all three. And you shall taketh away the greatest of all prizes. To Angela. To Angela. To Angela. To Angela. To you. The beach is right down these stairs. Make yourselves at home. If you need anything, I'll be close by. Okay. Come this way. Please. This is a nice view. Everything's fine. We're all settled in. Okay. Gino's half brother, different moms, you know, did a good job on looking after their LA businesses. What the fuck is going on? 24 hours? Wait, what the fuck do you mean 24 hours to live, to die? Relax. Isn't it amazing here? I've always felt so at peace. At peace? I got a fucking Maluk over my shoulder here. I got people all over the place. He says I have 20 hours. I know these guys. Gino means what he says. Every man deserves one glorious night. I think he's playing me just like he plays you and Jake and the rest of his gang. Isn't that what you wanted? To be part of the elite crew. 24 hours. What? We have 24 hours. What? I think I'm falling for you, Danny. I've never met anyone like you. Wow. I don't know what to say. You're in love with a gangster, so it looks like I'm a day late and a dollar short. And there was real chemistry between them now, but they both knew it complicated everybody's situation. Four years of abuse is not excusable. Gino passing me off like I'm some fucking trophy is not excusable.
And I don't get it. Why do you keep going back to him, to Jake, to the whole? Why do you keep You're going back? You're different. That's why I'm here, and that's what I mean. That's why I like you. You're the first guy that I've ever felt any respect from in my entire life. Wow. I think we're moving a little too fast. I have a little daughter at home. It means the world to me. The only reason that, the only thing that keeps me alive. I don't know if I could bring on anything else into my world. Let's go somewhere. <laughs> like where? Let's run off into the sunset. And this better be good, because I'm spending some time with my personal trainer. Yeah. So I'm your personal trainer now. What? You seen Danny? Guy's a cop. I can feel it in my bones, man. Gino? Gino insisting of knowing everything about our fucking business? Insisting of knowing everything about our fucking business. Danny Boy tells him, hey, man, let Marco go. It's got nothing to do with it. I'm your man. No need I say more? Is that right? Danny said, if you knew what the fuck is going on, you'd be running for your life, man. You'd be hiding in a fucking ghost town on a deserted island. Why would he say that? I see you dress for the occasion. I'm fashion conscious, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know me. I know. Unpredictability is a uh, wise trait. Yeah. What's up with those two monkeys? I call it a youthful uprising. <laughs> youthful uprising? A couple of wannabes, two wannabes. Think they were burnt out. Want to take over. And from the looks of things, maybe they're right. Why does everybody want to take over all the time? What happened? That dipshit Marco and his pretty boy partner, Danny. Ah, oh, please. And his, they come to me with this the story, selling I don't know what. They came to you first, sent by me. Well. And then they claim that you're planning to take what's rightfully mine. So I'm the puppet master. I'm pulling all the strings. I sent Danny and Mark to see you because I came off the bus. And suddenly, everything was up for grabs. Yeah, can you believe that? <laughs> That's funny. Does everybody in gangland think they have to have a freaking motto? Respect, loyalty, and honor. That's right. Some things I don't forget. Something you should have taught those boys. Some people are unteachable. Yeah. Well, I feel obligated to tell you something. Something you don't know. Danny. Undercover. Oh, fuck. I'm a 
just felt there was something not right. I must be getting old. You ain't getting too old. You look fine to me. We gotta do something about this, though. I think we ought to get back together. Work together. That's what you want to call it. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Angela. How are you? Everything's fine. You having fun? Go to Lover Boy or the phone. One sec. Who is it? Hello. It's me. Kino. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Game's over, Danny. Game's over. Before you know it. You're gonna be sleeping with the fishes. Who? Hello, Gino. Gino! Fuck. I gotta get out of here. Wait, what's going on? I gotta get the fuck out of here. Give me the keys. Get in here. Get in the car. What are you thinking? How could you set me up like that? Set you up? Yeah, set me up. You have no idea what's going on. You're gonna get killed. Who are you? What is going on? I don't... Everyone's setting everyone up, in case you didn't know that. Angelo was right. Everybody was setting everybody else up. And there was Danny. Sitting in a dirty black Mercedes. With a hidden microphone. I'm a fucking cop. You're a cop? Well, you're a dead cop. Yeah, no shit. Everyone in this town's after me now. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm dropping you off and we gotta go. Drop me off and just keep driving. Get out of town. I've gotta take care of this. I came here to take care of it. I gotta take care of it. Don't do this. Alexei had a bad reputation and a short fuse. If you weren't on his good side. When I was growing up, my father told me, Alexei, you have to take what you can in this life. Because uh, no one will ever protect you. In Moscow, in the streets, our government would steal from us. And that's for you, they would say. That's for Mother Russia. The police corrupted all. So I learned that if you can do it and uh, get away with it, it's not wrong. <laughs> You know, I wanted to be a ballet dancer. I know I'd pay a truckload of rubles to see my old friend Alexei in a tutu. <laughs> but I took what I had to. And I worked hard all the way here for a family. And now it's all broken. Motherfucking lying rat. But it's okay, Chris. You know? Because for a few moments, I knew freedom. Yeah. Go and kill this rat. When you do it, look even in his eyes and tell him that he broke my heart. And then, Christoph, my son, be done. Go, live. Yes, consider it done. <sighs> so Danny went underground real fast and he started scheming. There was no way that he could come in yet and Terry was the only one he could trust. So now, they decided to make some moves on their own to bring me and Gino down. Terry knew who I was, and I wasn't sure if Terry was clean or dirty. So Terry arranged a meet 
and baited a hook, and went out to see if I would bite. But I had a surprise for him, too. Hey, I got the perfect score for you, man. You don't understand the stuff I got, man. This stuff is clean. It is crystal clean. Clean, huh? Oh, yeah. I should tell you that we know about Nicolette. What? You're who? <laughs> <laughs> I have very big news for you. Yeah? What is it? You're going to become a father. <laughs> You gotta be kidding. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no. Are you serious? Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> of am, course I'm I... serious. <sighs> Baby, what's up? Oh, yeah, I just wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it either. <laughs> Baby, I love you. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> Yvonne, Alexei has eyes everywhere, sees everything, even his sniveling little nephew. So what are you going to do now? This war came to our door. Now I'm going to end it. The war? Okay, this never ends. Actually, you know how this ends. Whether you killed and I'm left all alone. And I finish this tonight. Because if I don't, no one else will. Terry, I'm so scared. Terry. What? I'm so scared. Make those motherfuckers pay for him. I will. <laughs> <laughs> like the XFL, he hate me. Girl, he's got problems in her life, she date me. Got so much trouble on my mind, she date me. So I can get some rest and try to get rid of this stress. I guess that I can't relate to the present state of the same rap game that I helped create. Along with every other rapper that came before. Little did the bosses know that Jake was about to show his hand. How many records you sell? Man, they lucky we ain't rapping in the NFL. Take it down. What is it, a double date, Jake? What are you, Marco Comedian now? Wow. East and Wales become family. I know how it is. You see an opportunity and you want to grab for it. But it's not that easy, believe me. Jake and Mark, they both had a lot to learn and they were going to have to learn it the hard way. A new beginning, I like it. Hey, listen, Marco, why don't we all walk in and inspect the goods? Okay. You know, Mark, I got great news for you guys. None of you will have to share anymore. No more Gino. No more Lambert. This? This is our time. Bobby. To the owners. Jake, Jake, Jake. Like what I'm hearing. Because that fucking Gino was getting on my nerves. And why is somebody always poking a knife in a fresh bag of product? Don't they know we have to mark it down? I know. But hey, who knew? <laughs> We 
fucking brilliant or what? Huh. You know, Jake, I thought you were just a fucking retarded bartender. Just like your crybaby cop here. Huh, pig? I'll eat you alive. <sighs> Cooler. Hello? Cops on the way. Get the fuck out. You know, Mark, we have a lot of time. So, since you seem to like what we got, why don't we celebrate? Sure. I got some really good champagne in my car, so let me bring it and we can call it a party. Not so fast, you fucking Cuban. We ain't even discussed the split yet. Have a seat. Who the fuck are you? Down, motherfucker. I suggest you take this fucking crackhead out of here before I fucking cool help you. So which was it? Did they want to make a deal? Or not? Cool. I ain't going nowhere, fool. Sit your punk ass down and deal them car. I'm gonna go to your office. It's you and me. You private. Let's do it. Hey, motherfucker. After Jake escaped, he called his girl. Future ex-wife asshole. You trying to set me up? Put the gun down. Why are you trying to set me up? You son of a bitch. Put the fucking gun down! <laughs> Little girls shouldn't play with guns. Fucking gun down! Who's dipping now, huh? Dip, dip, dip. Go ahead. Get the fuck up now. Get up. Get up! Now! You're gonna take a ride, baby. Do you like road trips? Come on, Danny, pick up the phone. So Angela picked up a red car fuck. and a disposable cell phone. And she called Danny, but he missed the call. But I knew just where to find her. You know, you really should quit smoking. Bad for your health. Get out. You know, Marco, you're not as dumb as you look. You got to Rita, and my guess is you probably whacked Tommy, too. So what are my chances here, huh? Can we talk this over? Nah. See, considering the fact that I got the gun, you dig. Dig. Please. I dig. 
I dig. One thing's bothering me, though. Jake. What the hell happened to Jake? Did you take care of him, too? I'm right here, old man. What the hell took you so long? I thought we had a deal. Yeah, the deal was to stay away from Angela. Your time is up, Jane. Fool me once, okay. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Enough with the small talk, Gino. Keep digging. And dig it wide enough for this fucking wet back. Listen to the rat now. I'm the rat. Yeah, you're the rat. You gonna let him talk to you like that? What is it? Huh? You miss your wife? Your kid? What's that supposed to mean? The fuck is he talking about, Gino? I don't have a clue. Gino was right. What was Jake talking about? What did Mark's wife and kid have to do with any of it? And why would Jake or Gino give a damn? But I wouldn't believe a word he says. And apparently, Gino didn't know either. Ah, the criminal mind at work. Right, you fucking dumbbell. Why'd you run away, huh? I thought we had a deal. A deal, a deal. There was no deal. Huh? Fuck. Now, fuck, I'm out of here, man. Oh. Uh. Throw the fucking gun! Throw the fucking gun! Uh. Fuck! Oh, Terry. I just need some fucking help. You know where I'm at. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I got him. You know what they say about power, Jake? That it all comes from within, or well, they're all liars. It comes from right fucking here. Evens any playing field. You guys are all a bunch of fucking scumbags. You, and Cole, and Mark, and Gino. Danny. <laughs> Stop. I guess I'm one to talk. Wow, you feel the power run through you, don't you, Jake? We're all fighting for the same thing. We're all fighting for the prize. We all want to win the trophy. I got two options here, Jake. I can put a bullet through your head. Daddy, come on. Or I can let you go. Just, just let me go. Let's finish the business as partners. You know, Jake, I kind of like this game. You know what? I'm gonna let you go. I will reward you. But not because I believe one word that came out of your fucking mouth. But because I like the fucking game now. I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, the sweet satisfaction of a job well done. Somehow, Gino made it back to the highway and bummed a ride back to a spot where his brother could come and get him. You had a good life, Gino. No brothers, Muslims. No brat. Two brothers. Two candles. Two dialects. Too sad. Look at what you just did. Too bad. Just dug your own grave. I can't believe it. You gotta stop this. No. All we ever want is love. What's all that matters? Family? All the rest is bullshit. Lies. All the talk. What we've been taught growing up. Mom and Dad fought every day of their lives. They weren't very good role models. Angela. <laughs> I thought she was going to bring me happiness. All she brought me was pain. I'll handle it. No. Andy, I don't want you to be in the middle of this. No. But this Angela. She's a muscle. Let it go. Be at peace. Move on. Please. Oh. 
Oh, that's good. I like that. Oh. Spicy little fighter. Hey, hey. Oh. Apparently, Mark still had unfinished business with Chino. Chino, oh, you come into my town. My town. You killed my family. My family. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't kill anyone. Jake, and your partner Danny. They set you up. You never stop, huh? You're a pawn, Marco. You're a pawn. You're still mocking me, huh? Don't do this. Don't do this. I'm gonna fucking kill every fucking member of your family. Still trying to be the hero, aren't you? Drop it. Yeah. You worthless piece of shit. Now you're a dead man. Worthless, huh? No, your empire is all done now, Cole. If I were you, I'd turn myself in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, officer. That's big words for a dead man. Danny! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You see, nobody knew that I had surveillance cameras all over the place. Kind of hard to surprise me. Just having a little fun. I can see that. <laughs> Listen, why don't you uh, finish them off and we can get out of here. All right, sure. Get out. Actually, you know what? Second thought. Let me do it. All right. Wanted to fuck this two-face up for a long time. Give me some drugs and money. I should have known. <laughs> oh, quite a detective we got on our hands here, isn't it? You're a fucking buffoon. You two fucking idiots. You guys think you're getting away with this, huh? With forensics the way they are today? I will have your asses for this. Do you understand me? Shoot him! Are you Captain Kirk? Whoa. Yeah, well. Why don't you finish him off? Well, you know. Go ahead. 
Drop it, Cole. What do you think you're doing? Drop your gun. I thought we had a deal. You, me, and Bachman. That's right. My old friend, Sergeant Bachman. When somebody has an itch, they want to get it scratched. We did. Put the gun down. Put it down now, Cole. On the ground. See, I like this guy. The big Hollywood showdown. I'll be out on bail in two days. All right, guys, come up. We got him up here. Me and all my guys. Second passed. floor. All right. Chris? What are you doing here? Hanging out. Okay, move in, guest room. You deserve this. Now don't worry about it. Untraceable. Go and raise your family legit. Pros for life. Danny. Sit down. Ah. <laughs> you know, I miss you. Um, listen. You broke my heart. Let's not do this. It's the old times. Old times. Cheers. Jeez. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. I really should be getting back. Come on. I finish mean, your drink. Um. That is, if you can drink on duty. You didn't think mm -hmm. I'd know? Drop the gun. Why the fuck took you so long? Put your hands in your fucking head. Congratulations, Officer Bachman. <laughs> you got the catch of the day. What can I say? I told you. getting you out. his regard. It's all about the power and how to grab it, the same as it always is. And when the dust settled, Terry was the last man standing, every man after his own version of the trophy. And he made his choice. He gave the money away?
Okay, Mom, he's going to a better place. Shit, man. Take Lambert out. Yeah, fuck that. You both shut the fuck up. Uh, I just wanna chill with them girlies, want me to get all up in it. 